Sometimes you won't know what type of data you want to store, for example when you're prompting the user to enter the data. So the variant comes in handy because it can hold any type of data. Let's just take a quick look at this program. The first thing I'm doing is assigning a real number to this variant variable. Then I'm using the type name function which will tell me what data type it is. Now I'm assigning a date to the same variable, overwriting the real number. And again I've used the type name function to determine what data type it is. Then I assign a string. Again, I'm trying to find out its data type. And then finally I assign an integer value. And again, I want to report the data type. Let's see what happens when we step through this code. The first thing to notice, before I assign a value to the variant, it has a value of empty. This is unusual. If it was an integer or a double, it would have a value of zero at this point. If it was a string, it would have a value of a zero length string, just a pair of quotes with nothing in between them. But a variant has an initial value of empty. When I assign a real number to it, the type name function is reporting that it has a data type of double. So it has now assumed a data type. Then I assign a date to this variable. And the type name function reports that it now has a data type of date. Then I assign a string. And I can see now that it's got a data type of string. Finally, I assign an integer and it has a data type of integer. So the data type of my variant is changing according to the data which I put into it. We have to be a bit cautious about using a variant because it will reserve the maximum amount of space that a variable will need. So it's not particularly efficient in terms of memory usage. Nevertheless, it's incredibly flexible. Here's another program which illustrates an important point. I've declared a variable of type variant. If I don't use the as clause, it will still be a variant. The default type for a dim statement is a variant. Having said that, it's good practice to use an as clause because somebody else might want to read your code and make sense of it. Here, I've declared three integer variables. Now it's tempting to try this, dim x, comma, y, comma, z as integer. And you might suppose that I'm declaring three integer variables, but I'm not. In actual fact, because I haven't used an as clause here, x will be a variant, y will also be a variant. And this code will execute perfectly well but you have to bear in mind it may not be as efficient as it's supposed to be. Now you can get away with this. And that will give me three integer variables. This line of code is equivalent to these three lines of code. But I put it to you that these three lines of code are better because again it's a little bit easier to read. It's a little bit easier for somebody else to maintain. So to summarize, the variant data type can hold any type of data. This is particularly useful when you are prompting the user for data and you don't know what type of data they might enter. On the other hand, it's not particularly efficient because it will reserve the maximum amount of memory required to store a piece of data.